Hey y'all, it's Whitney. I am in my closet and I am not wearing makeup because I had a facial today and I refused to put makeup on and clog up my pores after I'm all nice and relaxed. So, yes I'm in the closet and I'm on the laptop instead of my phone because my phone died during my other live. But I wanted to talk to y'all for a minute about putting up and shutting up. And I really want to ask and you don't have to answer this, you can answer this to yourself, but how many times a day are you putting up with something that should not be your cross to bear? How many times a day do you force yourself to shut up because you don't want your tone to be wrong, you don't want to get fired, you don't want to get thrown out of a seller's house, and you think that the best way to make real estate work is by putting on your church voice instead of your mom voice and being everybody's friend. So, you know what happens when we put up with bullshit for too long? You know what happens when we shut up and take it for too long? We go crazy! <laughs> we do! We go crazy! And that's not anything wrong. That That's what happens when you internalize that and you keep all of that and you bury it and you stuff it and you don't come up with it. You don't release it. You don't have that going off like a tea kettle all the time, eventually we go crazy. And I don't want you to do that. Alright? You do not have to put up with very much of anything. Especially from sellers and especially from buyers. And you sure as shit don't have to put up with anything from your tenants. Goodbye. I don't care if you're in a landlord-friendly state or not, all right? You don't have to put up with them. They are on your property, all right? And you don't have to shut up and be everybody's friend. You really don't. We all have plenty of friends. In fact, sometimes the last thing I need is another friend. What I really need is somebody to say, do this, do that, don't do this, stop saying shit on camera. I need somebody to help me. I need somebody to come through and say, oh, you're doing all that? Let me let me do this part of it and you go do that. All right? I need somebody to say, here, Whitney, I've got 10 leads. Will you close them? Let's see how many houses we can buy. Or I need somebody to say, you know what? I'm really good at managing tenants. Let me manage your tenants. You buy all the houses you want to and let me manage them. Let me do this part and I'll do this. I don't need another friend. You don't need another friend. You don't need to put up with a crabby broker. You don't need to put up with a horrible boss. You don't need to put up with a micromanaging manager from hell. You don't need any of that. All right? I hope your kids aren't awake. You also don't need to shut up and be everybody's friend. You don't need to be Susie Homemaker. You don't need to be the picture-perfect real estate agent. You don't need to be the star employee of the month. Because if it is hurting you on the inside, it's a matter of time before that comes out as word vomit <laughs> on the outside. Or you lose your passion. You lose why you started this in the first place. And I don't want anybody to get burnt out in real estate. All right. As much as I love Jesus, but I cuss a little, and I know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Here on earth, real estate is the way, the truth, and the life to get out of whatever rut that you are in. It's the way out of that dead-end job. It's the way out of that broken marriage sometimes. Are y'all listening? It's the way out of this burden from student loans, the burden from this house that you bought, the burden that you have inherited from your parents. All right? Real estate is how you get out of this vicious cycle that you didn't mean to be in in the first place. 
all right and you thought you were doing everything right you went to college you got a job you got married you had babies you had the white picket fence just boom 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 and it sucked all right or it sucks all right you can get out of that all of this that's making you crazy and making you go crazy in your head and like feeling like you're spinning out of control and like you don't have any purpose, you don't have any drive, like you're just bombarded with everything that life has ever thought about offering you, real estate is going to help you get out of there. Real estate is the ladder either out of this hole or the ladder up the corporate ladder, the ladder to your peace every time you buy a house you get more foothold you get more financial independence you get more confidence you get better in your speech you get freer in your time so that you're a better mom you're a better wife and you're a better member of society if you know that you make five or ten thousand dollars every month and you can go get a facial because it's Monday and you're gonna get your hair done because it's Wednesday and you're gonna get your nails done because it's Friday and you're still gonna make your money then you have the rest of the time of the week to do everything else that you want to do including picking up the kids taking them to field trips cooking dinner or just going and being alone sometimes being a little bit selfish with our time is the best thing for the whole family. Sometimes being a little bit selfish with our money is the best thing for the whole family. Selfish isn't a bad word, ladies. Selfish is a very empowering word and it's the word that revives your soul so that you don't have to put up with anything. You don't have to shut up and try to be everybody's friend. All right. I don't want you putting up with a bad situation. I don't want you shutting up and taking a bad situation. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the best way to get yourself out of a bad situation, and I don't care if that's a financial situation, a spiritual situation, an emotional situation, I don't care what bad situation you're in, real estate is going to get you out of that the monthly money that comes in without you having to go to work is going to clear up so many problems it's going to clear up so many issues in your marriage in your family in your job in your community in your church if you're making an extra five or ten thousand dollars every single month how much more can you tithe to your church you could sponsor the whole golf tournament. You could sponsor every mission trip that the youth wants to do. You could sponsor so many things off what your ties will do when you make more money. Don't put up with the bad situation and don't shut up when you're in the middle of a bad situation. You grab hold of whatever you got to grab hold of and you pull crawl and inch your way out of that situation and into real estate as fast as you can you can come to the retreat with me this weekend Jamie says she wants to come she missed her trip to Georgia but we're gonna get you in the next one I do have one spot left for the retreat this weekend I only have one alright send me a message if you want it send me a message if you want in the group send me a message and just let me know that you're tired of putting up with stuff you don't need to put up with and you're tired of shutting up when you don't need to be shutting up because listen health wise and I don't really do health talks okay I'm not into it I had a Wendy's cheeseburger for lunch so I'm clearly not a health guru but I do know that when you suppress anger inside of you it's gonna come out somewhere it may come out in broken uh, acne on your chin. See, I had a facial this today to try to take care of that. It may come out in upset stomachs. It may come out in heart disease. It may come out with you're losing your hair. When you compress all of that anger, all of that putting up and all that shutting up, it's only a matter of time before your body starts putting it out somewhere. Stop 
the flow before your body has to start taking care of itself. Don't put up with and don't shut up with more than you should have to. Stand up for yourself. Speak your mind. I love to hear you speak your mind. And I love to hear you use your mom voice instead of your Sunday voice. All right, ladies. Let's go get it. Let's go get it tomorrow. <laughs> Let's go buy all the houses. <laughs> Don't go crazy. Don't let your body get rid of all those toxins the only way that it can figure out how. You stop it before it gets there. Don't put up with a bad situation and don't shut up when you need to speak up. All right? <laughs> Bye, y'all. I'm going to go have my nighttime tea <laughs> and calm down and get off my pedestal. <laughs> All right. Bye. Good night. Don't put up with it and don't shut up. You get out of that bad situation. Even if it's kind of bad. If it's making you break out in your chin, it's got to go. Bye, y'all.